This week we're headed to the year 20 XDX for a geek crash course on classic video game franchise Mega Man. My arm isn't really, it's just an effect. It's fine. Mega Man, the American version of Japanese game Rockman, was first published in 1987. In this side-scrolling action game, you play as Rock, aka Mega Man, an android created by kind super scientist Dr. Light. To protect humanity in the future time of 20XDX, it's your task to battle the deadly robot forces of Dr. Wily, a mad scientist fending off your enemies using your badass arm cannon. Rock is aided by his robot sister Roll, as well as Rush, a robotic dog that can transform into a jet-powered surfboard. Light built the first set of Robot Masters, powerful robots with unique skills, that Wily uses to attack Light and Mega Man. The original Robot Masters are Cut Man, who can fire deadly scissors and blades, Guts Man, who has incredible strength and a brawler's personality, Ice Man, who can freeze enemies, Fire Man, who can burn enemies, Alec Man, a charged foe capable of manipulating electricity, and Bomb Man, who can throw various bombs. Later games introduced the concept that when Mega Man defeats a Robot Master, he can duplicate their core abilities, gaining new skills and attacks. As the games have gone on, this unique mechanic has come to define the series in its various forms. Other notable robots from the original Mega Man series include Wily's anti-heroic Mega Man copy, Base, and there's also Rock's prototype, Proto Man, who in his initial appearance worked for Wily in disguise as Breakman. The many licensed products featuring Mega Man out there include an energy drink that's actually patterned off the energy tanks you collect in the game to restore health. As times have changed, the Mega Man franchise has seen various revamps. The first, Mega Man X, is set in the future of the Mega Man series in the year 21 XDX. Mega Man X, the final creation of Dr. Light, is discovered by scientist Dr. Kane and used to create a new race of machines, the Reploids. Some of these Reploids go maverick and start attacking people. Mega Man X, along with badass robotic swordsman Zero, battle these renegade robots for over 10 games of their own. Zero actually gained his own franchise set still further in the future called Mega Man Zero. Zero awakens and takes up his laser sword once more, battling the forces of a deadly copy of Mega Man, Copy X, with the aid of CL and her resistance. The Mega Man Zero series was followed up by Mega Man ZX, set still further along in the timeline in the year 25 XDX. In it, you play as twins Vent and Ale, who can bio-merge using bio-metal into Mega Man Model X, later Model ZX, and to battle Mavericks in a world where humans and Reploids have merged over time into a new species, Humanoids. There's also another series from the 90s called Mega Man Legends, set in the distant future of the original timeline. These five linear timeline Mega Man series exist in a different universe than the sixth, Battle Network, which features the adventures of a boy named Lan who uses the virtual file MegaMan.exe to battle various viruses in a computerized network. Battle Network gained a sequel set in the future of that universe called Star Force. The franchise as a whole has had a lot of permutations over time, and we'd be here all day if I went into all of them, so please forgive me if I've missed a couple. Some Mega Man fans pronounce this character's name as Bass, some as Bass. In defense of the musical pronunciation, Bass's robot wolf slash jetpack buddy is called Treble, and when they combine, he's called Super Bass, which Super Bass just sounds less cool. Let's be real. The majority of the Mega Man games are readily available thanks to things like Wii Virtual Console and other various game re-releases. But if you're not really in a gaming mood, Mega Man's made the jump to animation twice. The first time, the Japanese-American co-produced cartoon series Mega Man is patterned on the original games. The second, Mega Man NT Warrior, is based on the Battle Network universe and plays like a more traditional anime show. It inspired four sequel series, Access, Stream, Beast, and Beast Plus. I haven't seen any of these, so I have no idea what to tell you about them. I'm honestly not a huge gamer, I'm just a really big fan of the Mega Man character and his history, but if you're a lifelong Mega Man game player, let me know in the comments below what your favorite titles are and we can build a list of recommendations for people who are new to the series. The 1990s Mega Man cartoon series includes an episode featuring Mega Man X, who comes back in time to aid the original Mega Man. This crossover is about to be repeated in the currently published Mega Man comics published by Archie, actually. That is it for this week's Geek Crash Course on Mega Man. If you have any questions, you can find us on Twitter, Facebook, or our website, geekcrashcourse.com. And remember to subscribe for more Geek Crash Course. Thanks so much for watching, and we will see you next time on Geek Crash Course. We, because there's usually also a girl like half the time, uh, next week's going to be her. Sometimes it's both of us. If you're new to the show, just, you know, so you know.